This week, the spotlight is on cancer fighters, doctors, and researchers. Yesterday was World Cancer Awareness Day. We all have a connection to the disease, but the two employees you're about to meet have a perspective only seen through their lens. Here's our Nikki Dementri. If you watch Super Bowl 54, you most likely caught this Roswell Park commercial. So stop, look around, and take in the moment. That's David Burnt, front and center, an employee and patient of the Cancer Research Institute. I was diagnosed October 12th of 2016. Um, stage four testicular cancer. More than three years later, Burnt is still getting treatment at Roswell. His cancer journey involving chemotherapy, multiple surgeries, and a stem cell transplant. He says he lives two months at a time, taking in every day with his love of photography. I don't know where my road's gonna go. I have accepted that I might not ever be cancer free. I never really consider myself in remission. My friends are always like, oh, you know, let's when are we going to ring the bell? And I'm like, well, I'm not there yet. But this 29 year old has a different perspective from the thousands of people who walk through these doors. He was diagnosed just a month after taking a job in the call center, working directly with patients. When I come to work, I walk in that side. But when I'm a patient, I got to go in this way. So that's just kind of how I separate it. When Burnt got sick, fellow employees like Richard Satterwhite reached out for support. It's uh, I describe it as a club that nobody has to join. Satterwhite, an actor, comedian, activist, knows all too well what Burnt is going through. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2000. And eight. Being given a second chance, uh, um, wanting to live was extremely important. Um, every moment. Satterwhite co-founded a group called Man Up, aiming to get men of color to pay attention to the realities of prostate cancer. His experience at Roswell also motivated him to become an employee here. When I say Roswell Park, what comes to mind? Hope. That's what it gave me. It was this week this pair marked World Cancer Awareness Day, but they want to ensure every day brings awareness. You only get one chance. This is the only life you're going to live. Um, it's important that you take advantage of every single moment you have. Nikki Dementri, 7 Eyewitness News.